sitting by the fire. <clears throat> I've been here at Lost Horse Tank. That's the name of the place. On Highway 8 in the Sonoran Desert for a week now. Almost. And I was just thinking about that. Time, right? Can't catch it. Don't waste it. It's yours. It's not. Seems like you got enough time forever, right? Time. How much time do you have? You never know. Time is a linear. Time is. Time is. Yeah. It's an interesting concept. I look pretty young for my age. I'm when I shave, anyways. I don't look bad for 51. Almost 52. Not 50. Three or four months. Yeah, I'm 52. Wow. Still got it, baby. But headaches are worse. We never know how much time we have, right? Or what we're doing with our time. How much time we've wasted. How much time I've wasted. I like to think I didn't waste my time in contemplation. But it's a lot of solitude and a lot of he locked himself in there for a year. I mean, when I was doing my paintings, when I first started this soul journey, of course, after the tower, after the loss, I was still breathing, and I couldn't stop breathing, so I figured I'd go with it. That was the kind of thing. So I kept breathing, so I kept walking, I kept eating, I kept taking baths, thank God. So I kept, you know, doing what I had to do. It was interesting because it was <clears throat> it's the, it's the sage journey, man. It's the if you're if you're it. I don't recommend the dark night. I truly don't, but it is what it is. It, God's in the universe is throwing you through that grinder for a reason. They want you to come out brighter and smarter and stronger and, and wiser and being able to teach others what you know, what you learn. I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing. Somebody asked me what I wanted to do or who I am. You know, what makes me happy? Doing what I'm doing right now. I've never had as much fun as I've had in my whole life as I have this last year. But it was it was fluke, it was fate, and I was given the ability to do it and I jumped on it. I took the opportunity. I said, I'm going. I'm gonna go adventure and See things I've never seen, places I've never been. <clears throat> I mean, like I said, you either got the wake-up call or you didn't with this past, you know, attempt. What call it attempt of control universally. It's just really scary. And a lot of people are still trying to just in the, the what's all that about kind of phase now. You know, slapped on their Chevy Chase and not knowing what the hell's going on, right? But, yeah. I mean, I'm a Taurus, full on, May 4th, right? May the 4th be with you, right? Anyway, I was born before Star Wars, just throwing that out there. But yeah, I mean, hobbits are, or Tauruses, excuse me, are basically hobbits. We love hearth and home, we love our little, you know, we love our little hobbit holes, our little solitude, we love our food, our drink and smoke and whatever, and our books to entertain us or video games, whatever, we're tourists. And then when I get pushed out into this, I mean, I got I got shoved out of my hobbit hole and kicked in the ass and sent out in the world. And it was a hell of a lot greater than I ever expected. Scarier and funner and more beautiful. But like I said, time is there. I took the time. I took the advantage of that time. And I've wasted, I didn't think I was wasting my time when I was painting <clears throat> in my apartment. I don't think that was a waste of time. It was perfecting the craft and healing from a deep, deep, deep fucking wound. And when you love somebody, it's always going to be there. And it's, it, there's, there's nothing worse than mourning the loss of somebody you love. It's mourning the loss of somebody you love that hasn't passed yet. That's the tough one. Because when you lost somebody that passes, there's, it's, it's, beyond comprehension. There's no coming back. You can't say hi to them. You can't say bye to them. You can't hug them. They're gone. 
their essence, their energy is gone and you can't even touch it. But my problem is their energy is still here running around. <coughs> so, and I have to accept that. I have. I mean, like I said, I, I don't stalk. I don't, I'm not nosy. I just, I tried, dabbled in that a couple times when I first, you know, when I first, you know, the tower first happened when I first got my heartache. And it just, yeah, it was too much. I couldn't do it. I can't. If, if you're a stalker, if you go constantly watching somebody's stuff, I, I feel bad for you because that's no way to live, man. It's no way to live. Like I said, I did it once or twice and it killed me just to see your face. It almost destroyed me. It took me days just to, you know, try to get my shit back together again, right? And it's like, why would I want to do that to myself every day or something? So I was like, yeah, that was once or twice in the last, what, 12 years? So I don't, I have no idea what they're doing. I hope they're well. I pray that they're happy. Like I said, our last interaction was me yelling at them. It wasn't good. I feel bad about that, but yeah, it's what it is, right? I mean, like I said, time is what it is, and time is fleeting, and don't waste your time. I'm not sure where I was going with this. I don't want it to be about me. But I want it to be about you. I want it to be about time and your time. And it's precious. And every day you hear about people going, I'm not here no more, and their time was up. I don't want your time to be up. I don't want you to think about your time being up. I want you to enjoy life, be happy. But I want you to enjoy your time, be happy in your time, as I'm trying to do mine. I'm not miserable. Like I said, it took me a long time to, 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 to deal with the connection loss. I don't know. It's still there. There's that bond, whatever. But you deal with it and you move on. And I've, I don't know. If, it's funny because I used to think it left a stink. And no other woman would want to touch me. I was fine with that because I don't want to hurt anybody and I wasn't in the mood to, you know, entertain the thought, right? So, but yeah, I mean, literally, it was like, it wasn't, it's hard to explain. If somebody put a juju on me that I would never date again, I would believe it. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm honestly, I truly believe that, which is sad because that means I don't get hugs anymore. But, you know, it is what it is. My love for her was selfless. My love for her was un unconditional. And I just want her to be happy, and I hope the asshole that she's with is not a complete idiot. And nobody's going to be me, right? But hopefully the guy's not a fucking asshole. That's all I can say. I just hate people who are just, just like, ah, you could have had this. You could have this awesome, sweet, wonderful. This and hopefully they're awesome. I don't know. I'm just going to pray that they are. And that she's happy wherever she is and what she's doing. And I'll find mine. I mean, this is a good start. I mean, I don't, like I said, I'd rather have my hobbit hole, but I don't have one of those anymore. So maybe I'll find another hobbit hole someday and then these videos will stop. Who knows? But I'll just be some jerks around in a hobbit hole. <laughs> I don't know where my life's going, which is interesting. So hopefully it's in a good place, though, right? You never know. I woke up thinking about time, and it, it is fleeting, babe. Enjoy it. Have a wonderful day, as I will too. And yeah, I love you. God loves you, and the universe is still digging you, especially in those pants. Knock it out, cheese. Love you. Have a wonderful day.